Uh, congratulations, Christopher. You knocked it out of the park again. And as I started my interview with you for The Dark Knight and The Batman Begins, how do you keep topping yourself? <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's very kind of you to say. Uh, I mean, to be honest, we only go into a film if, if we know that we've got a story to tell. And we really felt like we needed to, to finish a story and, and put it together as one one piece of work on, on trilogy. And so we, we, we felt very strongly going into it that we had a story to tell, and that's, that's the thing you really need. Was it, you know, really, it must have been so amazing to be able to um, flesh out Batman slash Bruce Wayne in this respect. What was it like to watch that evolution, knowing that it was going to be the end, too? I was just really enjoying watching what Christian had done with the role. You know, we've been working on these films for nine years. It's, it's a long time, a long time that I've been watching him develop the character. And uh, it was pretty amazing to go back and look at the first two films and just see how uh, the character of Bruce Wayne had changed going into the third film. And then making and shooting uh, The Dark Knight Rises, uh, just, just watching Christian take that character even further. Uh, it's been a real pleasure. I wanted to ask you that because what what was it like from you know the first day that you guys started working on this nine years ago, mm. and to watch him now? Uh, we know he's a brilliant, brilliant actor. He wins an Oscar finally. You know mm. he's so fantastic. But from your perspective, to watch him grow, what has been the biggest change for you that you've seen? I think Christian's extremely uh, consistent in his methodology. So really, it's been. No change in the way he works, you know, even after he won his Oscar and all that. He's, he's the same Christian, which is, is terrific. He's a very grounded performer, and the way he approaches the characters is very grounded. He really just tries to inhabit the, the psychology and, and taking on Bruce Wayne, a Bruce Wayne who's really been in a kind of self-imposed isolation, in a sense, for about eight years, almost like a Howard Hughes figure. Uh, Christian just really tried to approach that characterization from inside and really present the truth of that and what that would be, and it's, it's a pretty... It's a fun thing to watch on screen. Yeah, um, we're, you know, everybody's always with anticipation, you know, Chris Nolan's opening scenes, what are they gonna be like? Again, I don't know how you're gonna top this one. That plane stunt, can you just take me through that a little bit? And was your heart like nonstop pounding when you were shooting that? Um, it was It was pretty intense to shoot. We, we tried to do as much of it in camera as possible. And so, uh, you know, we were up in helicopters filming a fuselage of a plane hanging from a heavy lift helicopter, and stunt guys on the side of it and everything. Um, I found it pretty thrilling, actually. And it's one of the great privileges of, of my job, really, that you get to sit there with your, your writing partners and come up with something outlandish and then spend months planning it with great stunt coordinators, special effects guys and everything. And then and then you actually get to, to go up in a helicopter and, and see these amazing things take place in front of you. It's it's a really, uh, it's a joy. Were, you know, any mishaps or, I mean, I hope not, but it just, that that's pretty dangerous, my friend. <laughs> well, they, I mean, it, it, it looks very dangerous, but an enormous amount of planning and care goes into choosing the right people to do it. Uh, who have the right skills and are uh, trained correctly and uh, very methodical, slow planning. And those guys were up there uh, in Scotland where we shot the sequence for, for many months, just figuring it all out in a very calm way, you know. Uh, and so the shoot went very smoothly. We were finished a week early, I think, because it, it just came together very well. And, and that's uh, a lot of very talented people working for a long time. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the new people in your stable here. We uh, mm -hmm. start with Anne Hathaway, who was just, oh, God, was she good. Yeah. Tell me about, you know, maybe her audition or what was it about her that you thought, yeah, she's going she's gonna to be a great Catwoman? I didn't really approach it from saying, okay, who's going to make a great Catwoman? It was really about, you know, what's Anne going to bring to the, the, the character of Selina Kyle? For me, approaching these icons, and this was true of Batman with Christian, it was true of uh, the Joker with Heath, uh, and it's, it's very true of, of Catwoman with, with Anne. You can't approach the icon head on, it's too daunting. It, it's more a question of, okay, who would this person be in real life, in, in our world, where we're trying to be a bit more grounded with things? How do we approach the icon from the ground up? How do we say, okay, what's, what's the real character? What's, what's going on in her head? And, and Anne is, is such a talented actor. She's also a great performer, if you like. She's got those two sides. So she can portray the interior life of the character with, with great authenticity and relatability. But she can also be very expressive and, and inhabit a, a larger than life uh, character. And, and obviously, Selena, Catwoman, she's both those things. And, and Anne brings it together really beautifully. Yeah, uh, what was the reaction when she first walked out on set with that? 
cat woman outfit on. Uh, people were pretty impressed. I, the, the crew was uh, very impressed, I think. But uh, I think they were even more impressed when they saw what she could do in that outfit and how she could uh, fight and kick and do just all these amazing, amazing things. And she trained for, for many, many months very hard to, to figure all that out. And it's very important that, that she do it all herself uh, because there's performance in all of those movements. It's, there's a dance-like quality to, to the way uh, Selena has to move and, and you have to really really believe in that and invest in that and what what Anne's done I don't think anyone will realize how much of it she's done on her own. Tom Hardy wow uh, why was Bane the right villain for this to end this trilogy? For me Bane was the right villain because we had never put Batman and Bruce Wayne uh, up against a physical adversary someone who could stand toe to toe with him in a physical sense and project a very genuine sense of physical threat that you know Batman might not actually survive the conflict with this this person and Bane really presented that that opportunity and uh, you know when I thought about who could play that threatening a character using only his eyes and his voice uh, Tom who I just worked with on Inception seemed the, the natural choice and yeah. it was very exciting when he said he would do it. It was exciting watching the fighter go against the warrior. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was absolutely cool. And then Joseph Gordon-Levitt who of course you worked with mm. on Inception. There wouldn't be any doubt in my mind having you work with him again. He's fantastic. He's he's terrific and uh, he's such a such a professional. So easy to work with. Lovely guy. Uh, but more important than, than any of that, just an incredible talent. And when you work with somebody as talented as, as Joe or Tom, uh, you want to repeat that experience. And that's why I work with Christian on four different films. I work with Michael Caine on five different films. You know, you really, in a selfish way, you when you work with talented people, you just want to keep using them, keep bringing them into things. Yeah, we know how brilliant you are in, in the dramas and the thrillers that you bring us, but I would like to see a Christopher Nolan romantic comedy. Do you think you have one in your back, back pocket? I certainly don't want to have one in my back pocket. I think, <laughs> I think that might be a challenge beyond what I'm up for. But well, hey, you never know. You never know. I think you can handle it. No problem at all. It's such a pleasure always to talk to you. And Christopher, uh, hats off. It's just a brilliant, spectacular movie. Thank you so much for it. Thank you. Thank you.